We're installing a brake, electric brake system on the XJ. Do this at your own risk. Let's get one thing straight. Your Cherokee is capable of towing up to 5,000 pounds as long as you have a three class three hitch. We're going to be adding electric brakes to a Cherokee XJ, minus 2000, but it should be fairly similar with all the models. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this up and we're gonna set up the wiring. They do sell a universal wiring kit that you can connect here. It's like $30, but not worth it when you can just cut this up and uh, then you can just shrink wrap. Shrink wrap it nicely. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna completely remove this. Literally what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it Really hard to do with one hand. There you have it. Now I'm going to splice them and I'm going to um, set up the lengths that I want. There we have it. We, we splice them and now we're going to follow this diagram. So my red one is going to go into the vehicle stoplight. So that's where um, the vehicle is going to tell us where we're going, how fast we're going and when to apply it. The black one, uh, we're going to take into the battery or a power supply. The white one we're going to ground and this one, the blue one, is going to have the longest wire because this one we're gonna move all the way back to the to the other to the seven um, pin blue that it has on the connection. So now I'm gonna extend the wires so they reach to where I want them to go in the car. Like I said, you can buy the wiring harness or you can make your own little harness with the wires that you think you're gonna need just by cutting and then shrink wrapping and uh, soldering. Then the wires are as you want them. And then I'm gonna take you to the car and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. Alrighty, so to get ready for the installation, you're going to remove the two panels from the front and they are uh, simple four screws. First, you start at the bottom. There's one here. One here, then you go, you remove the plastic panel, then there's a metal panel, which has also two screws, one here and one on the other side. You unscrew them, they're just regular Phillips. Focus. Regular Phillips. And then you're going to find your brake, which is this one and you're going to just remove it without breaking it. Here it is. As you can see, it has six. And the one that you want to tap into is this guy right here. The one that has the two. So you're going to tap into the one that has the two going in, the white and red. That will tell your brake when you the brake, it will tell you when the brakes applied. Grind, ground the unit to that piece of metal right there that's grounded to the frame. That's where my remote starter is also grounded. And when it comes to the brake, I'm going to also put the unit. See red? You follow that red back into the unit. So at our braking, um, that's the brake signal. Uh, it's also hooked up to the, that brown one that you see there. It's hooked up to the remote start because when the key's not in and you press the brake, it turns the engine off. That's the signal. Now, the only two things that would be left is my power. 
which I need to figure out where I'm gonna hook it up. I'll show you in a second. And this one goes all the way back, which is the blue one, which is now a red, goes all the way back to the hitch. And that will send the signal to the trailer. Once you've taped it back, you're going to put it back into your braking sensor. Right in, focus. Right in there. And now we have the signal. So the last thing is the power. The last uh, power source I got from this cable, but I believe this cable is from my starter if your car doesn't have that you can hook it up to the radio section of it all you need is a bit of power i'll show you how it works now where are my keys so, keys are in and now when I press the brake, I have light, when I let go, it turns off. And now the unit is also to power itself. There you have it. So the only last thing I need to do is bring this cable all the way back and plug it into my new seven point unit.